in this video I'm going to talk about the WOW slider now uh, to preview it uh, you can see it into these sliders WOW slider blast flyout or blinds I'm just going to open all of them and as you can see right here this is the blast effect it's a it's a blast effect I don't know how to call it otherwise this is the flyout effect which is a bit more elegant I felt like using uh, according images for I mean this is much more uh, elegant while this one is for the gym it's you know yeah so blast fits uh, better with the bigger captions and uh, so on so we also have the blinds effect which also is a uh, an elegant uh, effect there's also a Nivo slider if you're interested into these kinds of uh, effects drop a visit to this that one too and uh, let me just uh, edit this page with page builder basically all these three are actually the same element but with with a different effect and different style so I'm going to as you sorry I haven't explained this I'm going back uh, you won't probably won't be able to reach the option bars here at the top so uh, there's this hide header button you just click on it and as you can see here you can specify the slides height now it's 470 pixels you can choose the transition also there's this blur which uh, is not added into the um, effect list but this is how it looks like this is how it uh, changes its uh, effect it's nice I know that's why it's called the wow slider then we have uh, the cut caption style we can choose either normal or as seen here a huge one it's up to you and what you want to what feeling what feel you want to achieve then you have the autoplay um, toggle right here you can uh, of course uh, by default is uh, autoplay but you can disable that and just uh, uh, leave the user to navigate uh, onto these slides. And then we have the timeout duration. For, by default, it's 3,000, which actually means um, three ha th three ha three thousands here means actually th uh, three seconds. These are milliseconds. That's how it's calculated into the code uh, world. And then we have the uh, background and styles options. Now I know, uh, in case you have questions about this, the options are quite simple. Just the effect here, the caption style. I'm a bit stressed if I missed something, but I will just uh, move on. Uh, we have the background and styles options here. Uh, and for these options actually I won't talk about as you can see I will just say that it's a background image right here as you can see the background source is selected as image um, an image is selected and we have also a background colored overlay overlay now like I said I won't talk too much about this because uh, there's an entire video about this uh, functionality is called background uh, options for element and it it explains all these options in uh, more much more detail and uh, in case you're wondering why well it would take five to ten minutes to explain all this so uh, because the these options are very very common into the uh, page builder I think 50 elements have this uh, this tab right here it's it would have been hard to <laughs> keep explaining about them so just look at that video and you should probably be um, any concern should be answered so then we have the add slides 
here is the place where you can add as many slides as you want uh, you can add like I said as many as you want you can delete them you can move them sort them around you can clone them and you can edit their setting and uh, here you have to choose the image the title the caption better said and the link of the slide and that's about it uh, it's a very simple element uh, simple options and um, simple functionality so if you have any questions feel free to ask me and uh, if you have any troubles with the element simply subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one